It's 7 in the morning in a location near the Arctic Circle. Gonzalo Jimenez, the head of brakes and active safety systems at Sayat, checks the weather forecast in the hopes that the day will be sunny at least as the outside temperature stands at 25 degrees below freezing. Every year, up to 90 cars go up against snow, ice and extreme temperatures. The goal is to guarantee that all the systems function correctly before buyers take possession of their vehicle. Gonzalo and his team, made up of 16 engineers and experimenters, make their way to what will become their office for 10 weeks out of the year, working on a 6 square kilometer lake beneath their feet. A 60 centimeter layer of ice makes it a suitable track for driving. These engineers carry up up to 60 different tests in a the time they spend in Lapland. This time, the first test of the day consists of deactivating the ESC stability control system by varying degrees and even completely. If the vehicle goes off course, they make sure the system stabilizes the wheels so it can get back on track. Ahead is a 200 meter long track that is half asphalt and half ice for testing high and low grip, a critical and common situation on the roads in Nordic countries. Gonzalo drives back and forth several times, braking on both surfaces simultaneously. This is how they refine the ABS system, which helps the driver control the car's stability. According to Gonzalo, the main changes has been the way technology has evolved. It made a difference in both in efficiency of the vehicle systems as in the work tools that are available to us, which are increasingly powerful and fast. When the day is over, they analyze the data obtained from the tests and the results enable them to make adjustments to the different systems. Testing starts all over again in the summer when the technical center engineers travel to the desert region for three weeks. They visit all five continents throughout the year to test prototypes in all sorts of weather conditions and on all types of surfaces. As a result, motorists can count on safely being able to drive on any road and in all kinds of situations. We work in extreme conditions and we spend a long time away from home. To work here, you have to be really passionate about that. In 
these kind of conditions with snow and ice, it's really important to assure that the stability and the behavior of the car is the proper one. We have been improving 20% the stability, so perfect. So today we have 20 degrees minus. Uh, yesterday ago we were minus 27 and we expected some snow tomorrow, so I cannot wait to come back to the sunny Spain.